You've had a, a fairly sort of turbulent and mixed up uh, private life, haven't you, throughout throughout your career? Are you kind of happier now than you've been at, uh, at other points in your career? Yes, uh, I'm very happy now. I, I, uh, as you know, I, I've been married three times, hmm. and um, on three occasions it really didn't work. Uh, mainly, probably due to the fact that I'm impossible to live with. Although my first marriage was. I mean, that was entirely my fault, that broke up. Where was it? Oh, I just had a romance with somebody I was working with. <laughs> and, um... You care to say who? Oh, well... Boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I was terribly happily married, that was the thing. And I, um... Anyway. Second time, of course, with, uh, Miss Impact. It's, uh... <laughs> Miss Impact? Yeah, that's what I read in the paper, anyway. <laughs> no. Miss Eckland? Miss Eckland, yeah. Mm. Yes. Now, that didn't work because of... I don't know why it didn't really work, but anyway, good luck, because she's a good try, Brit, and, um... And I think it was just a uh, mismatch, completely. Third time with Miranda, that didn't work, that was just wrong, for some reason. Probably me again, I don't know what. But I think that somewhere there's somebody for everybody. I'm very, very happy at this very moment. Very, very happy indeed. Are you going to find <clears throat> the kind of fulfillment you're looking for, though, in, in your work or in a relationship with a woman, do you think? I don't think you ever find it in a relationship with a woman. Because the only time that you're really happy is at the time that you're doing it. Not when the film comes out, when you're preparing for the film, but at the moment you're doing the take on the floor. And when you do it, and that moment comes out of you, and you've done it, and you remember that, that's why Blake keeps his outtakes, you see. That's the time when the, the achievement, the full feeling of achievement comes out. Even when you see the rushes the next day and you think, oh, no. But nevertheless, the memory of what you did at, at the previous day. Living for, for the moment of creation rather than see it captured on the, on the, on yes. the celluloid. I wonder how you would have found this kind of fulfillment that you just talked about professionally had you been of another era when films weren't invented, in fact? I mean, what might you have been then? Would you have been a, the comic actor? Would you have been the classical actor? Would you have been the vaudevillian or, or what? I'd have probably ended up as a road sweeper. <laughs> doing impressions of George Formby or something. <laughs> in fact, tonight what I want you to do to close, if you would please, is to do your little bit of uh, George Formby. No, is, is that right? Quite yeah. stand out nice again.